uh, we were told that uh, 20% of the complement on the ship uh, got ill, and we were told that the commanding officer and the chief bosun's mate both died. Um, when we tried to, after le releasing the news, about three or four weeks later, um, we tried to find the name of the ship and more details. And in the details, we found that other ships had uh, gone through the same experience. No one had died, but people got very sick. And uh, the naval intelligence went to the wives in the uh, San Diego Carlsbad area and uh, threatened them that they would get in serious trouble because what they were talking about was classified information, and and, uh, and that their husbands would be courts martialed, and so we have what been, the wives did. <laughs> that seems, you know, I don't understand the military, but I. Well, they see the husband is not supposed to tell the wife what's happened, even even if he's I, dead. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I, and, I and so we can't get any more information. Because they've effectively terrorized every wife in the area. And believe me, you know, I don't know, Abel, if you ever heard my interviews with the people on the USS Liberty that, you know, they tried to sink that in 67, but uh, they frightened those men. They terrorized those soldiers who survived the, the vicious attack, telling them they'd go to Leavenworth or, or worse, meaning they'd be killed if they ever spoke out. So it's pretty easy to terrorize people, especially when you've got four stars on your shoulder. And yeah, you well, really, and you mean it. And we have we have things, you know. Here in uh, 2001, I think it's in December. There was a world class. Hold hold, hold hold that thought. We'll be back in just a moment here. Well, this is Doctor Stan, and uh, New Bill was uh, simply asking about this story that Bob had put out a few weeks ago about some naval ships where they'd uh, given all the members of the crew uh, some sort of an experimental vaccine. And many of them had gotten sick and some had died. And when uh, Bob tried to uh, follow up on it, why he found out that the naval intelligence had threatened the wives and said, don't you dare mention this again, or, of course, your husbands would be court-martialed, or, and, and, of course, the husbands could be sent to prison. So, uh, basically, they've sealed off information in the land of the free. You're not free to tell the truth. So, anything else, Bill? Okay. The, the, the only other thing is, since all the all the military, if I understand, it, is is being vaccinated now and will be completed, I think, by the end of this week. Uh, will there be possibly ways without uh, to find out if if what what is being done to the entire military is sickening any of them? But, well, no. all I can tell you, yeah, first of all, tell you that. First, Bill, the, the vaccine is not necessary because the epidemic's peaked out, and probably, probably most of the military have already contracted the disease and are immune to it, and uh, another vaccination will only prime them for autoimmune disease and other chronic and neurological disabilities. So the whole thing is unnecessary. I think they're up to something else, and I don't think it's for the benefit of our people. And it's a shame that the, the military is allowing their people to be destroyed, not by Osama bin Laden, not by the terrorists in Afghanistan or the Al-Qaeda, but, but the wicked people in Washington, D.C., who hate the military, look upon them as stupid, dumb animals. Yes, like uh, Dr. Kissinger. Right, Dr. Kissinger, right. Anything else, Bill, before we let no, you go? That's all. I think I appreciate what you do, and you, you, Bob, for being on so many programs. I'll, I'll catch you on shortwave every time I can. Thank you. God bless. Okay, fine. Our number is one triple eight two four liberty. That's one triple eight two four liberty or four six four eight two nine five. If you'd like to talk to Bob and hey, you, you create, raise quite a ruckus with that story, Bob. Well, you know, we were only uh, reporting what we were given by uh, people, and we know who they are. Uh, they've been on the program for three or four years. And uh, they, the gr girls there get together and they listen as a group. And uh, their husbands are all officers, uh, uh, all the way up uh, to colonel and uh, in the Marines and uh, and some some of the Navy wives in the, their offices uh, uh, are the ones who, uh, you know, gave us the story. 
And, you know, we would talk to them in the IM all the time. And so, you know, we know who these people are. And so, uh, you know, they're not people that run around making up stories. And so uh, one of the detractors was a pharmaceutical company that had a great deal to gain from selling these pharmaceuticals to the government with these tests and then eventual total uh, vaccinations of all of the military people. I mean, we're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars, and they were on the uh, Internet uh, dispelling the story. And uh, we did an investigation, and we found out what they were doing and how they were profiting from the whole thing. And so you've got to discount what they have to say, uh, especially in view of the fact they hid that when they get on the Internet. And so uh, there was... You know, there was this di- distraction and the number of uh, entities, uh, programs, and, and on the Internet picked it up. And, uh, you know, some of the uh, people on the Internet who have programs wouldn't touch it and others talked about it. And uh, we were in a position where we couldn't prove it uh, because we couldn't get any more information uh, because we'd been shut down. And so uh, the truth will come out in time. Well, we do know that they use our servicemen as guinea pigs. They did it the, uh, repeatedly. In fact, anybody wants to question that, we have a congressional report. We call it the Rockefeller Report that you, explains how they use our servicemen as human guinea pigs without their knowledge or consent in violation of the, of the Nuremberg Statutes. But these people are above the law, after all. They're part of the Brotherhood of Darkness. Well, we'll go to Sandy calling from Ocan here. Hi, Sandy. Do you have a question or comment for Bob? Yes. Um, I just wanted to find out if he, if he had any idea. If I've heard him say that if the dollar goes down, that it will be worth like one-third of what it, what it is, uh, is now. Right. That's what uh, he fears, and I fear he's absolutely right. In fact, I, I think he may be a little bit optimistic, but... Uh, Let's hope it doesn't go down more than that. Well, what I wondered is when people have mortgages and things like that, will that go down one-third also? All right, that's a legitimate question. We'll get to it in just a moment. You hang on there, Sandy, and we'll get to Ron okay. just shortly. And remember our number, one triple eight two four liberty well, I'm going to hang up, and I'll listen on the, on the radio. Well, this is Dr. Stan back here, and uh, Sandy, did you hang up on me? Well, I was going to. Well, don't you hang up, don't, don't you hang up, because uh, so hang you're up. not going to okay. be able to hear Bob's answer, because we're uh, going to a break, but we'll get, get, get Bob to answer the question for you. Bob, okay. uh, you what's going to happen? Uh, people have debt, they're concerned. Are they going to pay it in the old dollars, or the new dollars, or is there any way to tell, because we're living in a world gone mad? Well, uh, with reservation, uh, I have to say I don't know, but if you were to use logic on a one for three exchange, it would mean that domestically, Americans, if they had a mortgage for $100,000, it would become a $33,000 mortgage, or if they made a $100,000 a year salary, they would get $33,000 a year, and on and on. Uh, but the people who are controlling our government, they're not logical. They do what they want to do. And uh, so we don't know for sure what they're going to do. And if they wanted to and made people pay back on the old basis with new money, they could bankrupt everybody. So uh, we don't know what their ambition is going to be at that time. And so I can't give a complete answer because they just don't have one. I think the one thing is, Sandy, they they really want to impoverish the American people. Everything I've been able to read suggests that. And uh, certainly reading their publications, their plan, which is laid out, of course, in the Earth Charter. So we're going to have to wait and see. But, uh, you know, just protect yourself in any way you can, okay? 